Okay, I'm ready to buff it now, and I've got my uh, buffing pad, and you can see this is just a grinder. I really need to get a better setup for buffing. Um, I mean, this has the rest and everything I have down, but I really need one that's more free than this and a couple pads, but it works for now. And of course you have, this is my buffing pad that I use for with the Tripoli, and then I have one set aside for Carnuba. Um, because a little bit of the dye is going to come off uh, in the buffing process. So I'll start on this. Oop, and I need to plug it in first. And when you do this, you want to go really, real light pressure. shine on the stem so once I have the stem buffed out the stem and into this part I'll then take the stem off so I don't catch it on anything and accidentally screw the stem up Take the stem off. Give this edge just a quick dot. Okay. Okay, um, I'm done with the buffing on that. Now I'm going to change wheels, put it on, um, and start buffing with Carnuba. Okay, now I have my wheel on with the Carnuba wax, and then I have a block of Carnuba. Um, I think this block was like five, four or five dollars. It's not very much, and you don't want to put it on too heavy because, especially with a rusticated pipe, otherwise your wax will build up on the in the rustication. So you want to go pretty light on it. And I'm going to start without the stem, and then I'm going to finish by putting the stem on.
then I'm ready to buff it with the stem. And when you're buffing the vulcanite, when you're nearing, you know, when you're almost done, take it lighter and lighter on the buffing pad, or on the buffing wheel. And we have a complete pipe. Let's see if I can get a little better lighting on this. I'll have to get a picture, but yeah, trying to get some good light, and I really don't have any right now. Well, that's better. You can see. This is the pipe, start to finish. Um, you know, it's no Dunhill, but it's a nice pipe. Um, and I checked it, it has really, really good draw on it. Really good draw. Great, and you may, if you made it through all these videos, thanks so much for watching. It's been fun and hopefully from one novice to some other pipe making novices, hopefully this helped you out. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you're an experienced pipe maker and if you see something that uh, would help others out or something that I'm doing a little bit wrong, please uh, feel free to point it out. Um, I'm learning just like a lot of other guys out there and just trying to get better all the time. Thanks so much for watching.